James Banks here for Up Close Gamers. I'm here with Naniwa. He's staying in the Startel house at the moment with us. Um, how are you finding it so far? It's kind of different, but I like it. I wouldn't mind living like this. It's not a big problem. The only issue is the language barrier. But somehow you can still talk a bit of StarCraft. StarCraft, like a multi-language. Yeah. So, um, coming on to like the food topic and all of the adjusting you're having to do, how are you finding the food? I find everything except for kimchi quite eatable. It's quite good, but I'm going to need at least a month or two to be able to eat kimchi, I think. <laughs> okay, so um, while you've been here, you've obviously been get, trying to get like the best practice you can. What has been the highlight of your practice sessions in Korea? Mm, the highlight sessions were probably when Squirtle and Ace helped me analyze my replays and I realized so many holds that I didn't before. It was quite inspiring to see. So the starter players have obviously been helping you. Um, what has been like the biggest help they've given you? So a certain build order they've taught you or say um, they pointed out that, oh, on the Korean server this doesn't work, but it may have worked on the European server, anything like that? Mm, yeah, in the start I lost almost every game and then they pointed out the mistakes in my build orders and I, f I fixed it and then I won games and it got better and better all the time. PVC was where they taught me the most, especially Squirtle with the three gate expansion and then Ace taught me a lot of fort expansion builds so I just feel a lot better against Zerg. So, um how important has this kind of practice been to you? Like, how much do you feel like you've improved? Well, I feel that I was very ignorant before. I thought I was really good, but I have a lot more to learn. And I'm glad I'm realizing it. And uh, I think anyone who hasn't been in Korea should go for at least a month or two. So, um, looking like you've been playing the Korean server, how different is the Korean server to the European server? Is it like a dramatic change or just a slight one? It's quite a dramatic change, at least for me. When you play top 200 people, they're basically like the best players in Europe. Uh, it's, it's quite amazing that they are just so much more aware of everything in the game and they know what to do. It's not like European or American styles where they play random and then hope for the best. Uh, yeah, it, it's quite a change. So, there's quite a few more players coming out here now. They're seeing the benefits of practicing in Korea and they really just want to get out here and get the best practice possible. Do you see this being like a theme now that all the players are going to have to start coming out here just to keep up with the Korean players? Yeah, we can already see that every tournament so far that Koreans have attended, they have won. And at Perhaps even top three. If three people from Korea came, it usually became top three Korea. So, obviously, people are going to have to come over here eventually. I don't think there is any reason why the gap will be smaller. They're just going to have to come over. So, um, what advice would you give to a foreigner um, in another professional team that's trying to come over here and get involved in it? Like, how do you go about it? Mm, if they had the time, I would suggest learning some basic Korean to be able to communicate better and uh, probably get used to hot food, I mean uh, spicy food and bring a lot of towels, I guess. <laughs> okay, so um, what are the main cultural differences you've noticed from being over here except from the food? Mm, I don't know if the cultural thing, but they sleep a lot of people per room. I'm used to sleeping alone in my room, so it's kind of changed like that. And uh, well, Koreans are just more friendly overall. That's actually a very big difference. In Europe and America, you don't take it for granted that people are kind, but everywhere you go here, people are always trying to help you. I like it a lot. So, um, coming to the end of the interview, what advice would you give to Protoss players out there on how to improve um, their play style and learn the kind of things that you've learned, but they might not be able to come over to Korea? Like, what would you recommend for them to watch and do? Mm, I would recommend to them to watch the GSL a lot, but don't flat out just copy the things you see. 
do the things that you think are right and that makes sense. Don't just do blind things and try to imitate others, but um, if I had to give one advice, it would be to split up your hotkeys a lot and then use many different camera shortcuts because with Protoss you need to be at many places at once to use force fields to be effective. Okay, great. Any last words for your sponsors and your fans out there? Mm, I want to thank my team, obviously, for supporting me, Team Dignitas. They're doing everything they've promised me all the time, so I'm very grateful. Great. Thank you very much, Nanyo.